new segment, Wheel and Walmart Wednesday. Welcome to my channel if you are new, and welcome back if you've been here before. Uh, this is just a mailbox Monday on a Wednesday because it's better that way. Um, I have some wheels, some parts, and some Walmart. So I figured, why not wheel Walmart Wednesday? Let's get into what I got. We will start small. Uh, we'll start with the Walmarts. Um, I bought a two-pack of tape. I ran out of tape because I've been painting things for me and the kids and everything else. And uh, I didn't have any tape, so I got some thicker Thick Boy. That way it covers a massive area, and uh, I don't have to use my nice vinyl tape. Next! Uh, next I got the real Thick Boy tape. Uh, this is, uh, what, inch and a half or whatever the hell, 48 millimeters? Whatever that is. 1.88 inch, almost 2 inch tape. So, I got some of that because, like I said, I've been painting and I have a lot of things to paint here soon. Uh, got some projects coming up. One is for Beat the Creek, and I hope you will be interested in that and maybe can take part in it as well. So we shall see, and that will be coming very soon. But until then, next! <laughs> One more. Frog tape. Uh, I got this because people were kind of raving about it. Um, it's got paint block technology. And I don't know what the hell that means, but it was a little more expensive and, and you know with the paint block and without the paint block looks better looks like it's sharper and um, I'm trying to get away from some of the vinyl tape that I have on some bigger surfaces so I went ahead and tried that I may have thrown away seven dollars but as I always say I've done dumber shit with seven bucks so it's fine next up I got primer this is just uh, rust-oleum primer gray this is the 2x ultra cover i like this stuff a lot uh if i'm gonna do something super nice then i would obviously not use this i'll use a different primer that i have somewhere and uh but this is going to go on a project that just needs to be covered with paint doesn't have to be nice because it's probably gonna end up looking like poop anyway next got some sharpies uh between drawing all the things out on tubes and flat sheet and just general use, uh, I'm using them for mail to ship out things and things like that. Some of my Sharpies are getting very, very flat on the edge, which if you write like a serial killer like I do, makes it very hard to have any sort of legible writing on a box. So I went ahead and got this. It'll help me with projects, plus I'm gonna try to keep one or two somewhere that don't leave, which doesn't work, but I'm gonna try to anyway, so. That is the next thing I got. Next, a little bit of orange. Uh, this is a flat, what was this, rustic orange? Satin rustic orange. I have a project in mind that the primer is also for that I'm also gonna use this orange on. Uh, I just needed some orange. This was kind of the color that I'm gonna go for, so I picked it up. I could use my airbrush, but since my airbrush is such a small cup, it's just easier to use the paint cans when I'm doing big stuff. So I got that. Next, scissors. Basically, I have another pair of scissors that I usually use out here. They're getting very dull. I was trying to cut some decals the other day. They were in my house for God only knows how many years. And then I brought them out here and they're just not very sharp, uh, which is good for me because sometimes me and sharp objects, you know, shouldn't be around each other. I needed something that'll actually cut decals and then cut paper, cut whatever, other than me. And so I got these, they're blue, and uh, you know, they're adult sized for teens. And all purpose, and they have an ergonomic handle for comfort and control. How, how could you beat it? It's five bucks. So I got that. Next! To go along with my flat orange and my gray primer, I got white. I needed some white paint. Um, and so now I'm going to leave it up to you guys' imagination as to what I'm going to do with these three colors. Unless you are inside my brain, which you're one of four or five people in there. Uh, maybe you will figure it out. Maybe you won't. Um, Jordan and Doug know, but that's about it. I'm not going to tell you what truck it's going on, and I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do. 
just know that this is coming into play here real soon on something that should be pretty cool. And it's not my crew cab. Next, we're going to go and be a Debbie Downer for a second. I sold a set of OMFs to a guy uh, about a week ago now. And um, the way I package things is uh, I say use this table right here. You know my wall of wheels is here. I go get a box, I get the packing material, I bring it over here, I put the wheels in the box, usually take a picture or two, which I took a picture of a wheel, and send it off. Um, this guy told me that he only got three OMFs. Um, I'm going to leave speculation out of a video. Uh, I did a little bit of a live. He immediately wanted the set that is identical to this, and uh, I told him no, they're gone, and to send them back. So that's what he did. He hit me up today asking me uh, where his money was and all that stuff. I told him I hadn't had a chance to open these, so that is what I'm doing. I'm doing it on camera, so that, that way there is no question, and I have video evidence, because I should have taken video evidence of me packing these things. Um, I'm positive that I sent these, all four, but you know what? Karma's a bitch, and uh, I'm going to be a good person. So, here we go. There we go. There's that. <clears throat> and we have all three. Uh... So here they are. Got this. It's an odd way of packaging those. Um, got this one. This is this one back. And got this one. Uh, they did have four hubs on them, so now I'm out an OMF and I'm out a hub, which I don't really care about a whole lot, but um, it just sucks. It sucks. I have another set like this that I told him was gone because I'm not selling him anything else. And I'll probably just throw one in as a spare. Um, and then we'll just, I'll sell these as singles or a set or a pair, whatever they are. So not a huge deal. I mean, it sucks, but um, it's not a truck. It's nothing like that. So it's just a little set of wheels. Um, probably out about a hundred bucks, but uh, having a clear conscience is what it is. And if I randomly find it, which I don't think I'm going to, uh, I will fess up to it on video, but I don't think it's going to happen. So, that's the last of that. Now on to more cool stuff. Next! Next up, we have this. I got a set of wheels the other day, and I traded them for these guys right here. I traded this set of wheels that I got on a truck for... For... For blue method 101s um, they have been used they've got a little bit of rash on the rings but they're not bad at all so i picked those up traded them uh he wanted about the same amount of money that i did for my wheels so i swapped them. um i don't know if you guys have seen that video yet so i can't really say what i swapped them for it's basically a pair of takeoffs but they were worth some money so i got a new set of 101s i don't i don't know what i'm gonna do with them but I got them, you know, so uh, I'll put them up on the wall. Maybe put them in, I'll, I'll put them in these swampers right here just to get them out of the way. That's what I will do. I'll do that right fast, like, because the last thing I need is just a pair of wheels up there on the wall and then a pair of tires up there on the wall and I could take up less space by putting these in here. So that's what I'll do. Okay, <clears throat> now that those are mounted, wall mounted, Put them back over here. Get them out of the way. I my favorite color actually. There we go. My favorite color is blue, so I went ahead and I was pretty excited to get those blue one on ones. So last, here we go. Ready for this? We have. Oh man. Uh, let's see. We'll pull these out first. I got some incision drive shafts for my Smurf. Right there this guy. Uh, I just realized a couple, about a week ago, that I didn't have metal incisions in there. Uh, I don't have MIPs in there. It has stopped wild boars. Or not wild boars. What the fuck are those called? Anyway, 
I just realized a week ago that it didn't have good drive shafts in it. It has stock Vanquish drive shafts, which says a lot because that has a 3500 Holmes puller and I run it on 4S and those drive shafts are the same ones I put in when I built it. So that says a lot about their drive shafts. <clears throat> so I picked up a set of these. These will be going in that. The stock drive shafts will be going in the box of drive shafts. That way I can use them on some future project and then I'll probably buy another set of these and put these in it and then they'll go back in the box and the cycle will repeat until I've built 147,000 trucks and the drive shafts fall apart. So, anyway, next, are you ready? Now, I did have a set of these, however, I got rid of them and I'll tell you why here in just a second. I got red outlet tanks. Uh, whenever I thought these were not coming out again, I won't lie, I sold them with a quickness. Uh, a guy offered me almost double what I paid for them and plus shipping, so they were gone. I did want to keep them, but when you got people doing that, I can't really say no. So. Uh, I got these again. I'm not even going to take these out of the pack. Uh, I'm going to put them in a box that I have that is for all my super nice keep, not even wall display, um, because I don't really want to get them all grimy from grinding out here and things like that. Uh, and I may buy another set because I don't know how many sets are out there or what they're going to do. But uh, I got those. So now I've basically got two pairs for the price of one, just had to do some shipping. Not bad! That wraps up Walmart and Wheel Wednesday. I appreciate you watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and my Facebook group, Bullman Built RC, all the way across the board. As usual, think about becoming a member, and uh, you'll get to see lots of cool stuff that you'll never see on here, and you'll get to see this stuff early. Check that out. As always, I appreciate you watching, and I will see you later.